in Ivory Coast, we can have access to um, targeted therapy drugs, but we don't have access to the testes, which allow to say you have to use this one instead of those one. Most of the time, uh, samples are sent to other countries, and what we are trying to do, a part of our work, is to implement those genetic testing in Ivory Coast to make more accessible to the most of people in the country. So currently we started to implement um, genetic tests for detection of carious mutation for patients with colorectal cancer. Uh, we have different ways to do this, those tests. Most of the time in other country we are using NGS solution which is available in Ivory Coast, but the cost for population is too high due to our social economical situation. So we tried to find another way to do the same testes, but at lower price. So what we done for a previous project was to use uh, two steps um, mechanisms. The first one was to screen patient first at, with a test with low cost. And then if you are positive to the screening, you can go through sequencing, which is more expensive, but still accessible. This is the first part for diagnosis, but we have another part of our work, which is research. And we are working on um, looking for mutation from specific biomarkers, which can be used in our context. You know that Africa has the greatest diversity in terms of genetics and genomics, but African population still underrepresented and, uh, for, the, for the study. Most of them French speaker African countries like Cote d'Ivoire. So we, we want to develop genomic testing and genomic research on our population to find biomarkers that we can use in our context to improve patient um, care, actually. For now, we, we, we have so many things. We have implication of the government through different uh, decisions for cancer fight, but we still need funds. We really, really need funds. Um, we have to, the world has to say that Africa is not only one country. Other countries existed and French speaking, French speaking countries are there and need uh, some funds. We have human resources, we have equipment, but we need trainings, we need uh, regions, we need collaboration in order to go, um, to go through cancer burden in Africa. Um, we need to be integrated in network, into network. So next step and the current step we are is to participate to all the conference that we can and to tell to say the world that we are here, we are existing, we are working and we need to collaborate and to do to do things to contribute to to the understanding of cancer in the world because genomic cancer in Africa is not a matter of African person, it's a matter of the world if we want to understand cancer in globally. Thank <laughs> you.